Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you my top 5 YouTube keyboard shortcuts. So let's go ahead and open up the web browser. I've already got one of my videos playing in YouTube right now. If you want to see all of the shortcuts on YouTube player or YouTube in general, just hold, just move your mouse cursor over the video here and then hold down the shift key and hit the question mark key. So shift and question mark will show you all of the different shortcuts. And I don't really use all of these, I use some of them. So the ones that I use, I'm gonna show you now. So the first one I'm gonna show you is press the letter F. So we move our mouse cursor over the, the video here and press F and F takes us into full screen. And then we can press F one more time to minimize back again. So F to go to full screen and F again to minimize. So that's one of the shortcuts I use quite often. Sometimes I'm watching a video and someone will call me on my phone. So I wanna mute this very quickly rather than going down here and pressing the mute button, we can just press the letter M to like around 80. So M and will turn the volume off and on. You can see that here. That will turn the volume off and on. So M is really a good shortcut to remember. And the next one, sometimes you wanna actually read what the person is saying in the video. So you can press the letter C for the caption. So we press C and now we can start reading all of the caption down here. And YouTube is really surprisingly quite accurate at um, changing text to speech or, or speech to text here. So it does a really good job of um, writing out the text based on what I'm saying in the videos. Before it wasn't so great at it, but recently I'll be looking at the, this, this closed caption here and it's very, very accurate, you know, it's very, very good. So let's press the letter C to turn that off. Now, sometimes I'm watching something on YouTube and I may want to fast forward or rewind and I don't want to keep going back here and using like the, the timeline here. So what you can do is use the left and right arrow keys. So if I use the left arrow key, that will reverse by five seconds. And if I use the right arrow key, that will go forward by five seconds. So you can see the red timeline down there moving backwards and forwards. You can also hold down the left arrow or hold down the right arrow on your keyboard to fast forward and rewind very, very quickly. And you can um, use that just if you wanna go back to a particular step in the tutorial, but you don't wanna keep going back to the timeline and clicking here and moving here. So I find that very useful. Um, the last one is really just increasing or decreasing the audio. So if we unmute this, and I'm gonna use the up arrow and the down arrow on my keyboard to turn the volume up and turn it down. So let's unmute it. And we want to turn off the show emitter here, right? Let's turn that off. So we use the down arrow to turn the volume down and we, and we can use the up arrow to turn the, the volume back up again. So turn in the viewport. And then we can just press M on our keyboard to mute. And then we can press F to go into full screen and then we can press F again to reduce full screen. We can use C to go into the caption. We can turn that off and then we can use the left and right arrows to fast forward and go backwards. So those are the real shortcuts that I use on YouTube quite often. The other ones that are listed in the uh, in the uh, description here, so we hold down the shift key and the question mark. You can see all of the other ones here. You can do things like skip to the next video. You can skip for 10 seconds. You can do all of these. So I'll leave you to go and experiment with all of these. There's quite a few different ones to look at in here. We'll dismiss this for now. All of the shortcuts that I've shown you today, I'll list them all in the YouTube description. So let's go ahead and minimize this. I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.